Hello and welcome to Excel tutorial from ITME and this is tutorial number eight. This is going to be a short video about how to use Microsoft Help. So let's get started. Okay, so as you work with Microsoft Excel, it's likely that you encounter some commands that you are not familiar with or maybe you have some questions about how to perform a particular task. So Microsoft Excel 2016 comes with its own prepackaged help. And Apart from that, even if you don't get stuck in some option, you must make a habit time to time. You must keep on looking help that will day by day make you efficient in how to use Excel and you will be more productive. So let's get started. Okay, so Microsoft Excel, whatever help you are getting with Microsoft help, the first bad thing about it that is online. So even if you are with limited connectivity or no connectivity to internet, you won't be able to use help. So this feature was removed in 2013. Till 2010, we had offline help, but from 2013, this is removed. So definitely a lot of people don't like this because people keep on referring help when they get stuck and uh, read the documentation. Now let's talk about the good thing. Now, good thing about this help is that if you get stuck, this is quite a efficient whatever data whatever documentation you're looking for you get that documentation in the form of text you get visuals you have pictures over there and a lot of videos also you're gonna find over there so let's see how to use help so over here in the ribbon you're gonna see over here in 2016 they have added help command I can go to help and you're gonna see we have a bunch of options over here we have a help group and community group you can click on help or shortcut is F1 as we have normally with all the applications and help gets launched so you can see on the right hand side we have different categories available you want to work with how to start with Microsoft Excel or you want to perform some operations related to rows and columns and cells working with formulas formatting tables pivot tables so main basic categories they have given over here and they have training also available and some featured help content is also there that most people look for so let's try with get started we have a uh, some frequently asked questions over here how to work with Excel what is Excel and how to create workbook uh, let's see how to create a workbook okay so now I can see that the text is given we have a nice video given how to start with a blank workbook and precise steps given how to perform particular action also there's links for different community blogs so this is how we can use the help you can close it from here and then we have contact support also optionable this is in the preview stage so it's not fully functional it's in preview so it doesn't work as of now completely it just gives you the same result as you get in help uh, we have feedback option that takes you to the feedback backstage uh, show the training takes you to the training page so also the help page where you can see in different categories working with quick start working with excel columns and rows cell formatting all the different stuff you can see let's try working with excel so again so you can see most of the topics or articles you are coming here they have got videos and some text over here and you can also go to the community this is a blog the community website you can ask questions if you are having so tech community people they, they will respond to your questions Okay, so now you can see that we have uh, different categories created based on Excel. You can ask questions around 18,000 questions, 100 posts, so definitely there is no one to reply, looks like, like uh, BI analysis, resources and community, and you have questions coming up over here, right? So you can see people are asking questions, and you can also come here and ask questions. So that's all about uh, community. We have also blog site available and you can suggest a feature if you want to give any kind of suggestion to Microsoft about Microsoft. Some enhance some features you want to enhance or you want to get back some feature. So you can use this blog. So that was all about help. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.